Sweet. All right. Samalithus grabs the stone. <coughs> says, uh, hopefully, uh, I'll see you guys later. We certainly hope not. And he leaves. He, he, there's a swirl. I, and he, he kind of like grips Calderax's shoulder. And they, they both just Bye, a, swirl of, a swirl of shadowy smoke. Oh, I can. Use my stuff. Yeah. Look over at Arusha. Thank you so much for doing that. Yeah. I promise yeah, not to I threaten don't... any more gods <laughs> for a while. Yeah. Uh, that was very stupid. I know. I realized what I did after I said it. Try, <laughs> Try to do that. You did that with Santa, too. <laughs> so, he told you about that. Watch your mouth. <laughs> uh, I, I'm just very passionate. I'm a passionate person. No, I, I realized that. Uh, by the way, I, I hope that the uh, proposal goes well. <laughs> Thank you. So, yeah. do, do you give our blessing, your blessing to our wedding? If it, well, if it so happens. Awesome. Can I be the ring bear? No. Yeah. Ring uh, bear. I will... <laughs> I will uh, caution you about Malifus. He's, uh, he sound he, he makes he's a with dick. the real nice mm. talk. But he's not a nice individual. Neither's he. I'm a bear. <laughs> that is an unrelated statement <laughs> that we all know. <laughs> Could you cure him of the lycanthropy? That would be uh, a fun thing to do. I oh. can, yes. That's so can I, for that matter. Uh, oh, gosh, how funny that would be. Oh, you're on the rampage. You, you can't. Uh, that would be very interesting. Um, <laughs> he's asleep. He just wakes up. He's like, "Why am I not a bear?" Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it only affect me a little bit. <laughs> I can still kill you. <laughs> yeah, the only thing they would do is reduce your speed. Yeah, at this point, yes. Is your strength? Oop, your nope. strength is magically twenty nine. My AC would get down by one as well. Oh, that's fair. <clears throat> Better chance of hitting me. Better chance of hitting me. All right. <clears throat> Um, was there any other, uh, any not, other business? Not that I can think of, unless you might have any information on the Dragon Cultist sweaterbites. That, that would be great, but I know that's not your area. Unless they're uh, underground. Kagan kind of steps up and analysis. He's like, stricken. He's like, <laughs> wow. I'm just having a casual conversation with a god. Um, so, uh, Urusha. Right? Arusha. Arusha. Great Lady of Stone. I, I would. I mean, I would personally, if, if it was, if it was, if, if it wasn't me, I would do some kind of honor to pick. See, my God. Okay. Your Your Grace. I guess. Um, your supremacy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We have. Never met, but I'm a big fan. <laughs> like things you do. Love the mountains. Love the mountains. <laughs> Not really. He's more of a city guy. Really. Uh, but they're pretty. They are. He turns back to you guys. You just have. You just just like on a. Just hang out with gods. Not often. Occasionally, I'm impressed. I just wanted to see. It's very interesting. Thank you for allowing me to uh, enter your realm. She, she nods. That's what they call it these days. Yeah. Keep calling. Of course. I uh, appreciate the work that you do in maintaining. Naughty. Now, uh, if there is, if there isn't anything else, no, we're going. <laughs> I, I, I would assume you have lots of godly business to get, get yes, to. Of course, kind of like oh, it's, thank you. It's right back now. Thank you very much. The gate stuff. Your, of course. 
<laughs> and I walk away. <laughs> oh, um, one more thing. Oh, yes. Because the whole... Uh, we can all feel that Tiamat is closer than ever. To, We're working on it. To a rising... Um, You're trying to actively prevent that. I wanted to give you my blessing. <laughs> this is kind of like the blessing she did last time. No, it's a little bit different. Okay. So she uh, she shrinks down to like more point. She comes up to you. <laughs> Yeah, she, she she approaches you. Your only symbol is like an amulet. Yeah. Uh, she she motions for the amulet. I also have it emblazoned on my shield, but right. Uh, I cast through this. And she she kind of looks at it and she holds it to her to herself and focuses Ooh. and it. Well, no, like, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. like in your dirty pillows. Uh, that's funny. This is so weird with the god. Right? <laughs> and, uh... Tell him it would not approve. No. When she returns it, it has a faint glow. Oh, some of my players are watching. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Oh, nice. Uh, she she hands it back to you and it has this very nice oh, is that who glow. glow. Simmering? Yeah. Um, so you talking, don't have smack, love in the cat. This is not attunement. It's not attunement item. Alright, so, so what, does it have a special name or is it just holy symbol? Uh, put, like, uh, call it Urusha's Blessing. You will soon be my avatar here on the material plane. You want to blue motherfuckers? You're in the forest. Oh my god. Really? No. <clears throat> Here's what that does for you. You have. You you have resistance while you have the holy symbol. You have resistance to necrotic damage and um, bludgeoning damage involved with earth based. So like earth elementals, um, yes, that, things, yeah. uh, anything that uses like move earth, earthquake, earthquake, yeah, that all that sort of fun stuff. In addition, once per long rest, should this be? Hmm, something fun. Here. Changes color. <laughs> That's hilarious. No. Oh, this will be fun. Once per long rest, you can invoke her power and gain the uh, the the stony wings of like a gargoyle. Oh. oh, cool! Yeah. I'm Vex! So that you can get a, uh, you, you would get a fly speed equal to your movement speed. That's awesome. I mean, Tempest is fucking up. I ain't got shit from him. You haven't gone to see him yet. Yeah. I can make that happen. Which, it's not Tempest, it's Samusan, the god of battle. But, yeah. 
you know, same. Different, different culture. How long do the wings last? Ten uh, minutes? Uh huh. Ten minutes, like Bax's? Ten minutes, yeah, I'll take ten minutes. That's what God's. That's what sad's. <laughs> Irusha would probably like that. You are an honorary member of Clan Frostbeard. So. Go with my blessings. Oh, by the way, how do you like the arm? Show her the gold arm with a, with her holy symbol in the palm. <laughs> That's very nice. Thank you for this, by the way. You're welcome. All right, th thank you very much for your blessing. You getting gold arms and shit and amulets and crazy power. I'm gonna go ahead and tr test it out since we're not gonna be doing anything else this no. day until I get my ninth little splat back. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Do you do that on this plane or do you go back? I'm gonna do it on to... this plane yeah, and walk sure. back through the gate. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's like, hey guys, watch this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. Standing gargoyle wings and you can. Nifty. Flying dwarf! Soon, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stone wings, golden arm, crown. Seen and you seen fly through the fly. gate. <laughs> uh, the fly. dwarves that are manning it Never seen are fly. like super surprised. Hey everybody! We came. So are, 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 what's wrong? Uh, you okay? Oh, I'm fine. <laughs> Rusha has given me her blessing. They all like kneel. Everybody play. wave, because the gate they're still coming to the gate. <laughs> and I assume she's still on the other side oh of it. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> so there's like there are these two like normal, like regular low-ish level dwarf guards <laughs> who see Arusha through the gate and she like waves at them. They pass out. <laughs> they can't deal. They they just faint. Their eyes go like oh. super wide. <gasps> <laughs> Somebody get them smell. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny because we're not even phased by it. We're just like, what are they doing? Wonder if she remembers what happened in the future. I mean, that hurt. Uh, that hurt. Yeah. <laughs> she does. Cool. Hmm. Yeah. It's cool to think about that. Gods, gods can. Uh, uh, really, what gods can access the the time uh, loop uh, and and see <laughs> aspects. Which I'm actually writing some new stuff about the time we've in the Chronomancer. So that's fun. I get to mess with that. The Chronomancer is like, is, is, is scaring me kind of as a class because it's pretty crazy. At 20th what? level, I think so. At 20th level, the Chronomancer can him and up to, like, up, up to eight creatures. He can rewind time for them, like, three, up, up, up to three hours per week. For seven, well, for seven long rests. So, it's crazy. It's very cool, though. I like it a lot. It's gonna be fun. Anyway, uh, so you arrive back in Dublin. You fly through the. Uh, I'm just gonna take a take a through. pass around the castle. <laughs> uh, like, do you fly out of one of the windows? Well, no, I'm like in the interior. Oh, interior. Okay. Uh, everyone is is kind of. Surprised by it, of course. Very surprised by it. And word spreads very quickly that you have received her blessing. Like, her... Like, her, actual like blessing. God's blessing, <laughs> yeah. Um, the king of Athelstyar has the favor of our god! Yes, there is fervor. I mean, it's like... Basically, a lot of the work has stopped, and they've all kind of, like... Went. They all kind of gone to the temple to praise Arusha. Uh, there, there's gonna be a big feast. Yeah, party. feast, feast in Arusha's honor. Oh, uh, you should change the music. Then. I like feast Woo! And parties. Uh, hand me. I don't know if that's charged yet. It might be. Yeah. Okay. Hand that to me, and I'll change it up. Assuming I have access to the tap. Yeah, I love how it's always like, battle, 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 and you then we just get wasted, and there's some <laughs> festival happening, and then battle, 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 the world almost ends, battle, feast. Oh, this would be a really, is the ring done? Yeah, the ring is done. 
Oh, oh yeah. good. Yeah. Best time to propose in the middle of a festival where if she says no, she looks like a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as, yes, your, I know. as your ring bearer, I'll grab that. You are not a ring bearer. It's the implication. <laughs> Who else is going to be a ring bearer? A small dwarven child. But is that a bear? Ring <laughs> bear. Er, come on, man. That, that's the chance. It's not a bear. <laughs> you got to let people be like, he was the ma- he was so amazing. But did you see he had a bear as a ring bearer? That's a that's great. He has a sense of humor. Good guy. <laughs> Good old king. Dwarves don't have senses of humor. Uh, Can I be your best bear? <laughs> Can you put it he in probably a suit? is your only bear, though. <laughs> Can, you, Can you make him wear a suit? I feel about a suit. To be fair. Oh, you just have like a tie. Like a... <laughs> it's like a bow tie. Bow tie or something. Yeah. I'd say probably Ulfgar's brother would be his best man. He didn't ask to be your best man. He has to be your best bear. bear. Yeah, you can be the best bear. Just you wait outside the chapel. What? <laughs> That's where the best bear waits. Uh, how many adventures is your brother going on with you? A lot before you were born. Mm-hmm. Okay. You realize I'm like 250 years old, right? This one. Did he help you? Uh, Anyone else notice that number goes up every time I say it? <laughs> I don't know how old I am. I'm in my 20s. So you're old than that. Uh-uh. I don't need more. I need more beer. I'm probably just now a bit, like, in my 80s. Yeah, I was 23. I'm a really young elf. I'm just a, I, I'm actually then there barely surprised, because I'm just a human. I'm just like, I'm seeing gods. <laughs> I'm fucking... That's insane. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hashtag blessed life. I actually just put oh. <laughs> your balls paused. But really. This entire time. <laughs> what if... That's it. So <laughs> that evening, this this actually took place probably around maybe two in the afternoon, right? And then so you guys come back, fly around for a few minutes, have a good time. It eventually fades. Uh, I'd like to think I don't know how long it is, and I fall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like skid. It's like, <laughs> and then it's yeah. like jumps up. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh no, Mickey, are you okay? Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, I want to try to sneak one of the chip balls pies into the wedding cake. The, we're not there yet. <laughs> okay. First of all, you talking about the dream? <laughs> Dude, those are so gross <laughs> at this point. <laughs> Someone's gonna be like, you vomited on the cake. <laughs> like. That's nasty. Look at the holding this box. That's nasty. It's like it's like a refrigerator. No, that's a bag of colding. <laughs> which this? I don't think you guys have. No, not technically. <laughs> that's a Mercer invention. It is now. That's a Mercer invention. <laughs> Cause time still passes in the bag of holding, even if there's no oxygen. So But Tom's not what kills those things. It kills food. I know, it's bacteria and germ stuff. And that's great, but your science is bare now. It's great. <laughs> I like how you just like all the way back and like, hey, here's some recent. And we're like, it's not it's normal. It's not so good. But that evening, there is a there's an immaculate feast prepared. Uh, there is a whole boar. It's bigger than most of the dwarves. Bigger. <laughs> it's actually like one of the old riding boars. Like that, a dire boar? It's like a dire boar. Like, this thing is enormous. It's like the size of a horse. This big old boar. Uh, it's been roasting. And there's all sorts oh, of associated accoutrement food. Not a lot of green food. Mostly, meat, meat. It's mostly meat and potatoes, and there's some mushrooms. Is there a Gophibi bow? Huh? Is there a Gophibi bow? No. Grog's invention, the meat salad? <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. Sure. I forgot about that. Oh, Someone man. did some fan art of it I saw it on the stream last night. That's great. It's mostly meat. Uh, there's a ton of ale. I mean, like, are there any ridiculously good non dwarven women of questionable repute? Put, put, put the camera on it. 
it's his, his sheet. It's his, uh, his weapon damage dice thing. He sets the dice on when he's when he does his attack. It's pretty great. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of dwarves there. Uh, it is feasible that some of them can can get drunk enough to be. No, I want non-dwarven women. The oh, the question will repeat. No, you are the only non-dwarven people right now in the keep. You're the tallest people in the room. <laughs> oh, for I sure. love this right now. This is so much. Fun. But, um, you know, you're a huge, muscly dude. Although technically you're a bear right now, so they're not really into that. But you can't find many dwarves. You're ever not a bear anymore. Uh, only in the bedroom. I want to do that before the bedroom. Man, I'm an animal. Get somebody in there. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You have to change like, like, Do you, you want to roll me a persuasion check? No, I don't want any, I don't want any dwarven ladies. What's wrong with dwarven women? I, 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 I roll to talk women. him up. To make him love him. <laughs> okay. I don't fuck with dwarven ladies. Uh, what would that be? Persuasion. Do it for Eisen Schmidt. I don't know. <laughs> hey, there you go. Uh, that's a 15. A 15? What? Okay. Uh... <laughs> Aren't you persuasive? You're a persuasive bear now too. We got plus one the charisma. <laughs> it's it's not. Is it charisma? No, you're, yeah, persuasion. It's persuasion. It's charisma. Oh, I see. So it's not. You don't have a lot of luck because it's still pretty early on. Maybe later on mm. in the like life of the party, it'll be easier. I it'll gotcha. Be, okay, you'll all be life. really toasted. Except me. Uh, <clears throat> huh? Except for me. No, you can't yeah. get drunk. You can't anymore. get drunk. Could it, technically, like, could dude. a death dancer still get him drunk? Nope. No. Damn. He's, he has a mean of poison. That reminds me, who has the Boda bag? I took it. He does. You can't use it. Again, kind of it's not too good. Yeah. It's an attunement item. You can use, um, probably use, like, some of the potions. See, I might one night just have the gasoline. gasoline. That would be a, or, mm -hmm. that, that's the thing. In this what is it? Or whatever. Gasoline. Well, no, he's he's got Everclear in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I'm saying it can make anything. It's something really. It can make any consumable fluid. I mean, you can drink anything. Yeah. <laughs> if you're dumb enough. Consumable. You can. <laughs> At least one time. Let me rephrase that. It, it, it won't make gasoline. All right, all right. What if I drink dragon's blood? No. Will I fill up the water bag? Uh, probably not a lot. <laughs> kind of like the wasn't, the, wasn't the thing like you had? He had to like have it. Mm -hmm. He had to have it, and then he can recall it in his motor bag. In his motor bag, yeah. All right, so I do want to roll a Constitution check to see how fucking drunk I am by the time I'm courageous enough to ask Telena. Okay, <laughs> come on, one. Oh man, <laughs> you're just smashed. I mean, why are you even nervous about there this? There we go. You're goddamn king. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Okay. Uh, so it takes a while for you as a dwarf to get drunk. As an old dwarf. Even, as a son of a brewer. <laughs> even yeah, especially because you're the son of a brewer. Like. I've been drinking since I, since I was you're, a baby. Your your father is there. Stuff's like mother's milk. Of course. Swallen's there with the bit with with Schmitty. With Schmitty, yeah. Schmitty. A little little baby death elf. Little shy baby. Um, although he's about two ish now. So a little the, dark elf toddler running around. Yeah. Like, through the feet of all these yeah. dwarves. Yeah. <laughs> Yelling dwarven profanity. <laughs> yes! Because that's about all he's picked up so far. <laughs> been hanging around the smithy too much. Yeah. That's really great. Schmitty the smithy. <laughs> Schmitty the smithy. <laughs> Alright. We're almost out of time in this video, so we're going to go ahead, and it's like 30 seconds, so we're going to go ahead and call it. And the next Schmitty. one is when you can do the thing. We built this Schmitty home. <laughs> Eh. Alright. Oh. Dwarven.